welcome back to my channel so as I previously promised I am going to go ahead and take you all through all of my textbooks my resources and all of just the different tools that get me uh, by day in and day out uh, in nursing school um, if you're not already a subscriber go ahead and hit that subscribe button become a member of the crew by the time I post this we should have crossed a hundred subscribers which is pretty pretty cool I think that's pretty uh, awesome uh, in such a small amount of time uh, we were able to uh, get the community going and we are still going so go ahead and hit the subscribe button and join the crew so um, I've talked about this book this is the first book I want to talk about uh, I mentioned this a few times in a few of my vlogs this is the uh, fundamentals of nursing this does come in a two-part volume uh, this is the volume one this is more of the, uh, the theory portion of it and then this is the actual uh, practice uh, so pretty much what happens is this is our main book so far this semester what we've been using for fundamentals I will say we have uh, dabbled in the uh, uh, essentials of psychiatric uh, mental health I think that's what it's called um, we did dabble in that but that was just talking about therapeutic communication um, but well, I know we'll go a little heavier uh, next semester but like I said, this book is, I mean, it's so much information, but because it's so much information, um, it is absolutely vital that you guys make sure you are using your codes. I know I harp about this a lot in the vlogs. The codes on the inside of the book are, I mean, they are just lifesavers they have quizzes that can be built uh, you can build quizzes you can um, get an overview of the chapter they have these uh, podcasts as well I, I call this my nursing Bible and this is because this is sitting the um, the foundations I mean that's pretty much what it is it's fundamentals of nursing so this is definitely giving us a foundation another book that I will say that I tend to go to a lot and it's just because um, it helps me with my uh, learning it is the Saunders um, NCLEX examination review I probably read this just as much as I read the fundamentals book um, this is not a required textbook this was actually gifted to me um, same deal uh, the codes on the inside of the book uh, they are definitely a lifesaver because I mean it's broken down into every um, topic that you would cover uh, during your nursing school um, career as you're learning uh, it even starts where I start at right now is the uh, fundamental section and they have all of these different questions that correspond to whatever you're learning and they give you the rationales as to why it isn't because what I've learned in uh, you know my time that I have been in nursing school so far which has not been long at all it feels like it's longer than what it is but what I've learned is you have to know how to prioritize and some things may seem more important than others um, and that may or may not be the case depending on who you are uh, dealing with um, this book helps you to prioritize care um, and answer those critical thinking questions just do a few of these each night you know um, like I said and, and it has up top it, it's color-coded so the blue 
I don't know if you guys can see that, but the blue is um, the fundamentals. And, but then it, the fundamentals is broken down into chapters. So you have, you know, lab values, um, nutrition. There was a section about um, uh, cultural awareness, just all of that. So it, I recommend this book. Go ahead and get this book. Another book that we dabble with, but we haven't really um, gone into depth uh, is the Nurse's Pocket Guide for Diagnosis and Prioritize Interventions. I think I talked about this in uh, one of my vlogs as well, how this book is your go-to. This is your resource. I mean, uh, properly be able to uh, diagnose as far as from a nursing standpoint as well as uh, prioritizing intervention. So this is definitely going to be one that I will be pulling from a lot, especially when we are uh, doing our nursing care plans and um, charting uh, treatment and care for our patients at the uh, clinical site. So that will be really nice. So this is from Dodgeness. I'll link all of these because most of these I got from uh, Amazon. Uh, I'll link them all in the description box. Um, this is one that really helped me and it's still helping me. It's the little, it's another pocket guide. It's from Jarvis. It's the uh, physical examination and health assessment, seventh edition. The d edition doesn't really matter because I mean, you know, the human body is the human body, but it has some really nice um, information as well as some pictures as to uh, normal uh, findings during an assessment. This really helped me a lot with my um, most recent assess. I had to do a head to toe assessment check off. Uh, I will uh, link that video down in the description box as well as somewhere up here. Um, so you all can check that out if you haven't already. But this helped me. I mean, I mean, you know, what else can you say? Um, for pharmacology, we have a uh, Davis drug guide for nurses. And it can be a bit overwhelming, but all you have to do is make sure that you are uh, taking the correct bites out of this. That way you're not overwhelming yourself. Uh, it's a thick book, but there's a lot of medications. But this has like the uh, meat and potatoes of what we'll be administering or what we could be administering. Um, now, I also want to piggyback off of this and, and say that all of these uh, books, so the uh, Davis Drug Guide, the Jarvis uh, Physical Examination, the Nurses Pocket Guide, um, and then one other, oh, this one, the Davis Comprehensive Book of Laboratory and Diagnostic Tests. We have not yet uh, touched this, but this is one that we were required to get, and this is, has a lot of nursing implications with it as well. So. This is really good, but um, my point is, all of these books come with uh, access to the app. I know a lot of uh, my classmates, myself included, um, we don't want to carry all of these books around um, all the time, you know, especially if it's not absolutely necessary. So, I recommend using the app. I have the app on my phone and I have it on my uh, iPad. This is what I'm looking at. I have it on my iPad as well. And, you know, when the professor uh, mentions a drug and I can just easily type it in uh, to the search bar on the Davis Drug Guide and it will pop up and I will get the information. I'll be able to properly answer the question. It gives you access with the book, so why not take advantage of it? Um, I have two dictionaries that I use just in case I need to look up a word that is unfamiliar to me. There is Tabers or Tabers. I don't know where that is right now. I think it's in the other room. But then I also use Dorland's. Uh, this is a really good book. It's a medical dictionary. 
Um, I mean, you know, it looks up pretty much what we need. In the process of writing our first uh, paper, uh, it's a philosophy paper about nursing, and it had to be in APA. Well, um, I know there were a lot of people who were on the same page as me, but I've never written a paper in APA format. I always use MLA. And then one of my uh, classmates, I know she said she uses, she up until this point, she used Chicago. Well, this is just a little publication manual. I, again, this wasn't a required textbook, but it was definitely recommended for our papers. And it just gives you a nice um, outline and steps so to make sure you can properly format your um next semester uh we will be touching oh this is a beast medical surgical nursing i mean look at it it's so thick like uh this is a uh, hoffman and sullivan and i mean oh my god it's so many pages it's like i'm a like 1600 pages but I know we're gonna really be uh, delving into that and once again those coveted codes uh, you know and you know if you have classmates that don't have codes, share them that someone gave to me that said I would really like this is um, it's a riff on the nurse's pocket guide but it's just a tech a full textbook for um, version and it's nursing care plans uh, diagnosis interventions and outcomes so this will help me when I am uh, formulating my nursing care plans uh, with my uh, at my clinical site it has different uh, pictures and it also has some sample care plans uh, along with some rationale so I mean that's pretty much it uh, I do have a farm book on my uh, tablet I tried to do the ebook route and the ebook route was not very successful for me. Um, it's, if it was a PDF, that would be perfect, but it's not. It is, there's a, there's this weird app and you have to, let me see if, if this will come into focus. You have to, um, this is, the last time I used it online because the app that they allow you to put it on your iPad it, it just wasn't a very successful uh, experience so um, that's everything um, if y'all have any questions for me go ahead and leave them down in the comment section uh, hit the thumbs up let me know if you have any questions I am going to be doing the giveaway pretty soon um, I just gotta kinda figure out something that's that's cool. If y'all have any ideas, hit me down in the comment section. Follow me on Snapchat. Uh, Clyde can't follow me on Instagram, Life with Clyde. And until next week, sayonara.